think we're live. Welcome back, everybody. I'm just about to send a notification, and today we're doing something different. I think I've been a bit of a slump lately, self-admittedly, and I have a solution, and that solution is a game jam. And specifically today, I actually found a game jam that is very, very close to what I normally do. And I think that's actually excellent for me because that means I can kind of, um, I can jump right into it without any problems. And the game jam we're going to be doing today is called the Try Jam over on itch.io. I'm actually going to let them know that I'm live streaming as well. Not sure if anyone was going to join us from there, but you know, may as well shoot my shot and see if I can get um, some people from over from their Discord over as well. That would be nice. Again, if not, I no hard feelings. It is my first time I've uh, plugged my stream to um, a jam and nothing came of it. But today we're coding a game jam. And for them, the game jam is specifically uh, the prompt is wall jump. Also, I just realized one thing that I've all I've been listening to my stream like I list I listen to my I listen to my stream and what I've noticed is that lately I've been saying like and uh a lot and I have to fix that. That thing has to go away. That that's a problem. So, I'm going to let's let them know I'm live. If they're not happy about this, Yeah, whatever. We're just going to post it right here. Live stream my development. Yeah, there we go. Okay, and we are good to go. So I think also one thing we're going to do today is I'm going to put a timer on so we can actually track exactly. There we go. We can track how far we're getting along with this thing. So let's go. And let's get a timer for us. I'm going to set a timer for three hours on the dot. So we're going to start this timer as soon as I start writing code. So that is going to be a thing. Also, let's uh, get my chats up and running because I think I think Twitch chat is up. And I need to make sure that my YouTube chat is up. Okay, both the chats are up, and now we're good to go. Also, um, for those who've been here yesterday, my finger's doing better. It's like, I have it all bandaged up this time, so it's gonna be isolated. Uh, for those who don't know, I sliced my finger pretty badly at the, down here. Like, deep, deep cut. But, ignoring all that, we have stuff to code, we have a game jam to do. So again, the game jam theme is wall jump. So we're gonna start with that. I'm gonna actually bring up my my handy dandy notepad. And we're gonna start a new project. Let's there we go. Here's the project. As you can see, we have nothing written so far. Also, I'm going to set it up. I, I don't have the bot working right now. It's currently under, under, uh, what do you call it? There's a word for it. It's down. It's down at the moment, but I'm going to fix it in a minute, maybe like in a day or two, and we back up again. Where is my game capture? Is it this one? There we go. Now you guys can see yourselves. Okay. Let's add that here as well. And now we're ready to go. So again, Nothing coded so far, and we're going to start the timer right now. So we literally don't have time to do even think. 
We're going to start with creating our uh, document. So we're going to first, as always, make our HTML file that everything's going to be in. We're going to add a header. Here's where we're going to handle like the CSS and so on. We're going to make a body. And we're going to clean up. There we go. And as always, we're going to start by, let's put the script at the very end. And inside the script, we're going to create an input output. And I get the update function ready. A document dot add event listener. So what I'm doing right now is we're going to listen for key downs. And when we hear a key down, we're going to save the key that we selected. But we're first going to check and make sure that the key is not part of um, the current. I always forget event. Um, it, the key is not part of our current input array. And if it isn't, then we're going to add it. I'm literally typing without a finger and it's the weirdest thing in the world. Okay, so, hello, the Apple Gamer. What am I using? Uh, we're coding everything in uh, HTML5 and uh, we're just gonna be using very, very base. We're, we're gonna have everything in one HTML file. Maybe we'll create some artwork externally and some sounds externally. And I'm coding in Notepad. I'm using Notepad as the ID. Event dot key. Okay, so that is the key down event. Now we're gonna make a event listener for key up. Again, I do not even know. I'd explain everything I'm doing right now, but we do not even have time to think about it. So on key up, we're going to do the same exact thing. This time we're gonna find out if it is in the um Input dot index of. We're going to find out where it is located. And then if i is not equal to negative one, we're going to remove it. From that, and then we're going to add a uh, set interval for the update function. And in the set interval, we're going for right now, just set the document.body.innerHTML to the input. And hopefully, if I typed everything correctly, we're going to first save this on my desktop as walljump.html, remove the .txt. And again, if everything has been done properly, Oh, my, my finger is injured. <laughs> like um, right now, it's literally, let me say, I can probably show you guys a little bit of how bad it looks. But hello, call me Aiden. Hello, Aiden. Probably see a little bit, just like the injury. Uh, you can't really see it very well, but it is injured. Like it's a pretty deep, deep gash in my hand. And the Band-Aid is, it's fine. I'll just tear it off. Okay, so is it working? Let's see. It is not working. There might be a bug. Let's take a look. Let's inspect. Seeing a bug in console. I forgot a parentheses on line 13. We are five minutes in and we nearly have. Also, I keep forgetting. Um, line 13. Where's line 13? Line 13 is this one. Oh, forgot to close these off. And also I got to do 1000 over 60. And now that should work. So let's run this again. Also, I probably shouldn't close that. 
And right now, look in the corner very closely, you'll notice that we have inputs and outputs. So we're on our way. So next up, we have the very, very basics of this all set up. Now let's start adding in a character. So I'm going to start building up the style. So we're going to build up a style sheet and we're going to just have a block that I'm going to use for everything at the moment. And the block is going to be a tenth of the minimum length of the either the height or the width of the screen, big and wide. And uh, I know that was a lot of words and a lot of um, Probably didn't make a lot of sense, but I promise it is what I need to do. I will say having such a tight deadline is both a blessing and a curse. I really have to like lock in. So it's exhilarating, but it's also like stressful, like extremely stressful. Height, width, because I know that if I get stuck anywhere, that might be it for us. Okay, so we got the height, width, position fixed, and I think that's all we're gonna do for this for right now. And now what we're gonna do is I'm going to Okay. Let, let's just um, put in our character, I'll call it player is, well, we'll start with P equals to document dot add element, oh, create element block. And then P player, actually, no, we're gonna do, we're gonna call it player player equals uh, create element dot block player dot style dot background color is equal to black and player dot style dot left is equal to zero px and player dot style dot bottom and, and for this I'm gonna set it equal to 40 yeah 40 no 45 uh, min plus no min 45 view width comma 45 view height and with that I'm gonna add it document dot body dot append child player and we're gonna just comment this to update what is the deadline uh the deadline as of right now here i'll show it to you in just a second is uh two hours and 51 minutes so kind of tight deadline and I really, this time, I really want to get everything. Audio, visuals, I want it to be on point. So this is going to be, it's going to be challenging. But we're going to get it. We're going to get it. So let's reload, reload this. Uh, it's not working. Let's inspect element. Let's find our little bug. I'm coding so quickly that, okay, it's not there. I'm not appending it right. There is a block. Oh, I forgot to close the style. This happened yesterday too. Okay, let's run it again. Okay, inspect element. Uh, there is apparently a block in here, I think. Apparently it isn't, doesn't have the other stuff I need. Okay, let's uh, let's go back a second. Let's go back. Let's go back to the code. Mm, 
Okay, so this is all correct. Not sure why this isn't working. Oh, that's why. Let's run it again. And hey, we got a little block, a little blocky block in the corner right there. So I will celebrate us having a visual indicator here. I'll make it a bit bigger so you guys can see what I'm talking about. There we go, we got a block. Woo, we're making it, we're making it big. So I'm gonna drink some Red Bull to celebrate. It'll be a long night, well, a three hour long night. Let's continue. So, next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna make the block jump back and forth whenever I press space. So how we're gonna do that is going back to the code. If input dot includes is, is space I think it's just I kind of want to make sure that this before I do anything, let me first make sure that input. Let me first make sure that this is correct. Spec, go to console. Okay, no, it's actually just a space. So, back to the code. If it is, excuse me, I drank that way too quickly. So, if it includes space, then, and, we're gonna add a x as well. x is equal to zero. x equals 0 or x equals 90. Then what we're going to do is we're going to add xvel xvel is going to start at 0 and we're going to add something to it. So we'll just do x vel uh, plus I'll just do a weird thing here. I'll just say x equals zero times five plus x equals, this doesn't feel right, but it's probably going to work. And then else if if I just do else, <laughs> a wild weasel has appeared x plus equals x fell. Actually, we do one more conditional. So else if x is less than or equal to zero here. In case you guys are wondering, this is my weasel, Sophie. She's apparently joining us for a little bit. Hello, Sophie. Okay, Sophie's going down. There you go, Sophie. Okay, back to work. Weasel break over, back to coding. So what we're gonna do is x less than or equal to zero. or x greater than equal to 90, 
x equals to x less than or equal to 0 plus Actually, I'll just do x is less x greater than or equal to 90 times 90. Else x plus equals x fell. And theoretically speaking, okay, after all this, then we just update player.style.left is equal to min plus x plus comp vh comma plus x plus she just woke up so you're on babysitting duty don't run her over with the chair please i will not run her over with the chair she's over there looking at the mess i made yesterday i was doing some cleaning and i did not finish cleaning uh v width and close that close this and now Theoretically speaking, if I did everything right, which I, there's no guarantee that I did, um, when I run this thingamajig, it's not working. Let's see if there's a bug that I can look at. There's no bug that I can look at. Let's go back to the code real fast and see what's going on. I guess we can uh, remove this. Because this isn't really necessary. Let's try it now. Okay. So that worked. What's she doing? Oh, uh, Sophie found Hiccup's catnip. That should fix it. And now we have it working. It is now doing what it's supposed to. I mean, already we have a wall jump, so, and we're not even, we're 20 minutes in. Now let's add in some, uh, some more interesting stuff. So why don't we add in a coin and well, let's add in like enemy blocks. So what I'm thinking is let's have like several situations that can happen and I'll draw this out so we can kind of go through them. So what I'm thinking specifically is also, yeah, and I'll, I'll tell you, um, I'll, I'll tell you Ken if I, if I need you for Sophie or if she gets tired or something. Okay, so what I'm thinking is we'll have single blocks. So this is left and right. We'll have single blocks going down. We'll have like groups of blocks in the center, like a group of three blocks. We'll have like groupings of blocks as well on either side. And we'll have like coins. What do you think you're doing, Sophie? We'll have like coins on the left and on the right. So let's just get started on that. 
for right now, let's stick with like a single block in the right and the left and like coins um, on either side or something. <laughs> Sophie's being ridiculous. Alright, yeah, Sophie. Okay, anyhow, back to work. So what we're going to do is we're going to have an array of enemies. We're going to start it up here. And what we'll do is we'll make a function called make enemy. And the make enemy function is going to put an enemy on the left or the right side. Oh, you guys cannot see what I'm typing. And the make enemy function is gonna put an enemy on the left or the right side. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna just do a math. Every time I do this, I always, um, I always overcomplicate. Over what I'm trying to do. E dot style dot background color is equal to red. And I'll just for right now put it above the screen so E dot style dot bottom is going to be equal to a hundred view height. So that'll keep it at that'll, that'll basically keep it where I need to be. And then we're, before anything else, we're going to do enemies L equals enemies dot push. We're going to set the X into Y. So the X is going to be math dot random is it random I think it's random okay math dot random and we'll make it a logical operator and we'll multiply it by 90 and then for the Y, we're going to do a hundred. Yeah, a hundred. And then we're going to add in the E. And with that, then what we can do is enemies E dot style dot left is equal to enemies L minus one zero and we're going to add in the min plus plus view height comma plus plus view width and parentheses. Just copy this, paste that. And with that, I think we're all set. And then on the update, we can just move everything down properly. So, for L equals to enemies dot length 
i greater than or equal minus one, zero i minus minus. We're doing a reverse so that if we remove something from this array, it is not gonna be a problem down the line. And then what we're gonna do is if, well, first of all, we're gonna do enemies dot um yeah enemies i one minus minus if enemies i one is less than or equal to minus 10. Yeah. Then enemies i2 dot remove. What we're doing here is if it goes off the screen, we're going to remove it from the screen. And then enemies dot splice zero i comma one else enemies i two dot style dot bottom is going to equal to I gotta work on the scaling on this because this is actually a little bit frustrating I might actually put this in a square and like give it a arcadey vibe or something I don't know yet what I'm doing right now isn't really the best solution. That's my main concern. View height. Let's just try this out and see what happens. I did a lot of coding without actually testing anything. So this may or may, and that was another 10 minutes of our time. And we do have a bug. We got a bogey. It's probably like a oh, forgot something. Thirty-five. We probably just forgot a parenthesis or something. Oh yeah. Did we? Oh, it was off the screen, so I didn't see it. Now that should solve it. Wait, I, I didn't actually call the make enemy function, so I need to go back. And let's just every if math dot random is less than 0 0.01 it's like a 1% chance of happening then we're going to make enemy now let's try running it I'm not seeing anything happening yet doesn't seem broken per se. I don't see any bugs hap. Did I set the background color? I think I did. Um, let's back to the code and see if there's something I'm missing. 
Background color red. Create element block. Oh, I forgot a pen child. Okay. That'll do it. E dot or document dot body dot append child E. And now we run it again. Oh, well, that's not right, but it's a start. I'll take this over nothing working. Kind of before I dive back in, I'm gonna quickly check and see if I can see what is causing this weird behavior. It like jumps immediately to zero view height. Or you get stuck there. So if he's biting my foot right now. You want attention? Hey, don't let it bite me. Where are you? Oh! Okay, she doesn't want attention. I'll take it. Wait. And she's back again. I'm gonna grab her. Whoa! Here you go. Whoa, gotta be careful. Wanna say something, some, say something to them? Stinky today. Can I go? You can't jump down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. She wants to explore. There you go. What do you want? Okay. Back to coding. Back to coding. Um, next up. So this is working. That is working. This is theoretically working, I think. So we're less than or equal to minus 10. Yeah, she's very bitey. She's been biting me a lot. Biting my toes. Okay. This is definitely working right here. I wonder why it's being so, so difficult right now. We're already making huge, you'll get her? Okay. I am doing a lot of really questionable stuff with my code. Getting the child? <laughs> She's been crazy. crazy. Yeah, she was biting me. I, I tried to pick her up and she was like, ah! <laughs> no! No touch! Oh, yeah. But yeah, okay. My hair looks so bad today. Like, it's perfectly flat. Not great. 
But what we're going to do right now is, so I have this for loop, we have this if. I don't know why this isn't working. Maybe I'll remove this from the loop because we can kind of ignore that and just make this an if statement for right now. That should work just fine, right? We're still seeing the same behavior. I'm not sure what the behavior is exactly. So we're seeing the red blocks come into existence at the bottom of the screen. Honestly, let's remove one of the, um, just, whoa, one second, I'm gonna move this thing so I can more quickly swap between the files. Let's just remove the update function and make sure that it's spawning the blocks where I want them to be spawned. Because that could be a problem, theoretically speaking. Okay, they're being spawned. They're, be they're being spawned where I want them to be. Yeah, they're being spawned, right? Okay, so I guess the next step is what if we hmm. What if we just what if we remove this section? The part where we uh delete them from existence if they are off the screen. What if we move that? What if that is the problematic section? Just making sure that this is correct. So, yeah, this. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, I see the bug. I see the boogie. There's the boogie. Okay. The bug's gone. Now it should work. There we go. And now, I mean, I can make this very basic and just add a collision detector. And I'd argue this game isn't very fair yet, but it definitely would be a game. Anywho, let's um let's add a collision detector. <sighs> what we'll do is if So we'll compare when we're doing the update for the location of the enemies. We will compare this location to if x is less than Bug X boogie check mark. Yeah, no. I um 
I don't know why I'm calling him Boogie. I, I I don't normally do this. This is something I'm just like saying right now because I think it's funny. But hey, if you guys like it, then maybe I'll keep saying it. I think actually like where I'm getting it from, my head is like when um it's like a war a war phrase where they're like, oh, there's like a bogey on under nine o'clock or something. I'm like I'm like ninety-nine I'm like ninety-nine percent sure that's true. Let me let me double check before I'm spewing lies. Bogey on left nine o'clock. Let me like say something like that and see if it's Maybe I should check and make sure it isn't like offensive or something too. Am I wrong? Oh wait, bogey. Bogey, like B-O-G-E-Y. B-O-G-E-Y. Bogey origin. Oh, no, it's the devil. A mischievous spirit. Eh, I think it works. I think I'm, I think I'm in the clear. But yeah. To continue. The, um, we want to check and make sure that I'm not colliding with these blocks. So what we'll do is if X is less, well, we'll do enemies. I, man, I can't stop burping a little bit. X minus, I should be greater than X minus 10. And Let's copy this a couple times. One, two, three. And we'll already close up the if statement. And greater than, we'll make it a soft, a soft edge collision. Okay, I, I'm already starting to regret what I was doing earlier with um, my with how I was handling the verticality of this. I might actually go back and fix that. But yeah, let's um. I'm not gonna do this. <sighs> Let's return and correct it starting here. So I think we're gonna just make this be the same Use the same functionality as before. It's not ideal because it'll clip. But we have no choice in the matter, unfortunately. Let's go back down here and we're going to return this one. And instead of doing it this way, we'll do min parentheses plus 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 view width and parentheses close it and copy paste. How do I join that thing? Um, do you mean the game jam or um, the game I'm doing right now? Uh, what's your question exactly? Uh, Leo the Kitten over on YouTube.
Don't know why this stopped moving. That's a weird bug. Yeah, I'm seeing some weird bugs here. Why is not defined? Oh, I know why it's not defined. I know the problem here. Uh, so what we got to do here is 45, so it'll be 35 and less than 55. Oh, we're gonna be a little robot joining across my screen. Okay, so right now that is only for Twitch. I'm currently in the process of coding one for YouTube as well. I'm currently using a third party solution for it. But at the moment, those are my Twitch viewers, the ones on my screen. I do apologize that it's not on YouTube just about yet. It will be in like, give me a week. The, the YouTube API has been killing me, but it's going to, I'll get it done. Yeah, so um, here, can someone type, if someone's over on the on the Twitch side, can someone type in chat so you can show lead the, um, lead the kitten what happens when you type? Let me do some commands. Only if you guys want to, of course. I'm not, I guess I could do it as well, but I'm kind of, my hands are a bit tied right now. We'll see if someone does a command soon. Let's, um, let's like make it so that if I die, I'll just say game over on my screen. Let's just run this and, um, Well, that's not right. Oh, it's less than minus 10. Oh, even worse. If I zero. and less than I-55. Inspect element, let's see what happens there. What's happening here? Oh. Number 55. Unidentified identifier X. But yeah, so, okay, so because there's no one in Twitch chat who's active right now, um, they can do stuff like they can put a bomb down, they can uh, jump. There are little mini games you can play as well, but they're not really, um, I haven't really been using them a whole lot recently. Well, so there's also a chance maybe that they are doing commands. I'm just not seeing them. Also, you can see messages that they type as well. Oh, 
Unexpect number, line 55. What, what's going on here? Line 55. Okay. So now, theoretically speaking, it should work. So if I collide with one of these dots, these red things, I die. Let's see how far I can go. Oh, there we go. Not really fair. Again, we're going to have to increase the fairness of this game to make it more viable. But for the most part, it's working. And I think for right now, so we have a game that is working at a very, very basic level. The next step is, uh, let's make, okay, so first of all, actually, before I go any further, I'm gonna try to um, steal some, um, some of my old code from a different game so that we can hopefully uh, make it look a little bit nicer for the time being. So I'm gonna just go and we're also running out of time right now. I'm gonna grab my Flappy, no, not a Flappy, actually, is it a Flappy game? I think Snakes is the best game I can use for this right now. Where's my Snakes game? Snakes, where is my Snakes? Snakes? Snakes. Okay, let's take a look at my snakes game real fast. And let us analyze. I kind of want to open up my Twitch chat just to see if there is stuff going on I'm not seeing because I'm getting a little bit worried right now. Nope, looks okay. This is I'm offline. No, I'm live. Okay, that's so confusing, but I'll ignore that. Okay, anyways, I gotta get back. Back to work. Let's uh let's get this party rolling. So I'm gonna just uh, steal some of my CSS from my previous game. Um I'll just grab all of this. I'm gonna steal all of my styles. We're gonna just dump it on my um, my CSS here. Really, the only thing we really gotta change is segment to block. And I do have to probably change location a little bit. I'm gonna look at how I did it in the snake game. The CSS. Okay, so it's based on eights. Oh, it actually looks like it's probably gonna be fine. The only thing I gotta worry about is... Also, there's actually one thing I wanted to also check as well. I want to not have over, over stuff, like um, overflow. I might change that later though. That's not really a top priority. Let's just run this and see what happens. Um, actually, let's also see how I handled the main HTML file. It's probably gonna be important. Uh, let's just... grab all of this and just dump it into this body. And uh, 
I I'm, don't even know how this is going to look like yet. So let's just run it and see what happens. Okay, it's already looking better, even though it looks worse. <laughs> it might seem like it's nonsensical, but I promise you it makes sense to me and nobody else, which I guess in a way is nonsensical. Uh, oh, wait, do I need to make it relative? Wait, how do I handle it here? Um, dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum -ba -dum Okay, so how I handled this was primarily by top left. Okay, dokie. I'm gonna do this just for a consistency. And this is gonna be different because it's gonna be 40? No. It's gonna be 32 minus 40, 32, 16. And for this, it's not going to be 90. It's going to be 80 minus, so 72. Oh, this will be 36 then. 36, 36. And this is going to be 80. Um, okay, I think we're making progress. I'm not sure why. Oh, because I'm not spawning the block where I want to spawn the block. I need to spawn the block inside of. Oh, okay. This all makes a bit more sense now. We're going to want to spawn it inside the square. So inside of ID square. get element by ID and we want to do the same thing for this and then with our logic from motion we're not going to 90 we're going to 72 Uh, why is it complaining? Hmm. 
Hmm. It seems to be f struggling with on the other side. Is it an X fell problem? Oh, yeah, it is. So it's bouncing out of the screen a little bit. Also, I think the, um, the other thing, it doesn't seem to be spawning where I wanted to spawn. Actually, I take it back. It's spawning right. Okay, but anyways, this part is working so far. How did I handle um, end game on this code? I guess we can start setting uh, game states, like starting game, end game, etc. Ay, oy, oy. Oof. How are we doing on time? Okay, we're an hour down. Honestly, I could just steal some of the assets from my previous game. I'm also gonna just... Got some more hard cider from yesterday. I think I'm gonna need it for this stream. Try to open this thingamajig, but I'm weak. It's like a twist off cap. I'm just glad that my left hand that I used to do this isn't the one that's injured. It's like grab this thing, Bob, my shirt. Why am I so weak right now? This is ridiculous. There we go. I'm not the biggest fan of this hard cider. Hello, Leo the Kid, and welcome to the stream. You should see your avatar jumping in any moment now. But welcome here. Sorry it took you a while to get in here. Honestly, again, I wish I didn't have... I don't want people to feel like they have to go to my Twitch or have to go to my YouTube ever or whatever platform they're watching from. That, that I need to fix. That that is definitely on it. That's definitely not a you guys thing. That's a me thing. But let's let's add a game state thing. I'll add a game state variable. Actually, I might just uh, separate this like this. If game state is equal to game over, we're going to um. You should already. It should automatically join you in. Wait. I make sure my stream avatar client is working right. Um, why would you not be? Oh wait, I think. Do you are you fault? Are you following me yet? 
He got a follow name. I think that's how I keep all the bots out of it. I think I'm asking for a lot right now, but. How, what box? No, um, you should be able to, um, if you, on Twitch, you can click a follow or whatever it's called. Is this follow? Yeah, it's follow. If you click follow, you should be able to, I think that's how it works. Well, I can check what my settings are on this thing. Okay, I think, so I see, okay, so you followed me. Thank you for the follow. And now let's see, if, yeah, there you are. And now you're, you're a goose right here. So there you are. In fact, here, let me, well, not this. I'm going to pin you right here. And I think you can uh, change your avatar from a goose to whatever you'd like. I think um, if you click on on the right side, what's it called? The, um, you should see these little extensions on the chat, on like the top of the chat, on the left or right, these little squares. There's one with like a purple square with SA, that's stream avatars. And you can use that to um, to change your, your avatar to whatever you want and stuff. Anyways, that, okay, I don't, I don't have time to talk about this. <laughs> I'm already kind of running, running a little bit behind but yeah no that, that that's how you should be able to do that Um, ba -dum -ba -dum. so how I handle it here is if we die, where's my death? Here's my death. So we're just going to change the state and use the state machine for the time being to handle Yeah. Now let's try this again. Why don't I use an ID? Um, I never really felt the need to, honestly. Oh, wait, I've been programming for about seven ish years now. I got my degree at OSU last last. Uh, what do you call it? Last spring season, spring session, whatever it's called. Like two semesters ago, I got my degree at OSU in computer science and mathematics. Uh, the fact that I'm not getting the game over screen is a problem. Also, because I'm changing the game's state. Oh, it's called game state. There we go. That should fix it. Oh, well, <laughs> I'm sorry, Leo. Sorry, I got, I got stuck in the code. Um, yeah, no, I just painted the screen for the fun of it. I'm glad you got unpinned.
Okay, so the game over is working. And we can do... I'm going to... Hmm. I guess we, I'll work on the restart system later. I guess we can add in the sounds from my previous game. Reuse, reuse and recycle. Um, let's, uh, just... We could also do some fun stuff where we do score tracking. Where we can, we can, uh, split up the collision thing here where we'd remove this part right here. And because we're iterating the speed by one, Actually, I'm going to handle this is we're just going to I really shouldn't do it this way actually actually Yeah, I'm going to actually take all that back because I thought I could uh, combine the logic, but that wasn't going to work out in my favor. Just it's better if I just do if enemies I one is equal to uh what is the clear I think it's thirty five is the clear. And the clear thing is going to just we'll add a score variable. And we'll just use my Oh boy, I'm not sure what's causing that bug. Huh. I'm... Am I? Interesting. So, okay, wait, let me look at chat real fast. So, um, Leo, the kid is asking, how do you change your character to someone, someone else? Um, and on the chat, if you look at the top bar of it, you should see these little squares, one that's purple with SA, purple SA. That stands for uh, stream avatars. You click on that, you'll get options. 
Um, JWQWF is asking, what language is this? Um, this is a JavaScript, but I'm, I'm essentially just coding in the HTML file. So I'm, it's a combination of JavaScript, CSS, and HTML. I'm not using any other file other than this one. Also, this is a weird bug. I'm trying to figure out why this bug happened. Oh wait, this is this is incorrect now cuz I've changed how the locations um the correct locations will be So my character is at 32 no 30 36 and we're talking about 8 away so greater than 28 and 44 that should fix it yeah i gotta fix the clipping Now it's so basic, but honestly, it's already pretty fun. Okay. So next step. So you earn channel points by watching. And I think by commenting, so um, you'll get like a certain amount automatically over time. I think you also got, you started out with a few just by following and so on. Um, if you're on your phone or even on your computer, you should see a little um, symbol pop up in your chat after a certain amount of time. If you click on it, it's kind of like a thing that just shows you're still there. If you click on it, you'll get some more channel points as well, like a bonus. I think like the maximum per hour is like 50 or something. I, I don't quote me on that. I'm, I haven't looked at channel points in forever. I will say I haven't really, you, you got and unlocked some emotes. Oh, I forgot to lock those emotes away. Do you like my emotes? I'm glad. But um, but yeah, no. So I, I think I think you've gotten everything that's um, that's going on on my Twitch so far. I think I got the hang of it. How much time do I have? I have an hour and forty one minutes. I need a drink. How is my hair looking better? How did I manage that? Okay, so I think how we're gonna do this is, let's first add in some sound effects for the fun of it. Kind of like make it a bit more. A bit more interesting. So I'm gonna just, um, I'm literally gonna do the same thing as I did for my uh, snakes project. I guess if if um we um Oh whoops, I probably should
There we go. I'm gonna take my jacket off. It's getting a little bit hot in here. Hot, hot, hot. It's so weird looking at my old code because like I learned so much between projects that I look at my old code I'm like, oh wow. This is like horrible. And I like refactor everything to be the way I like it. My tastes like just change completely, frequently. Okay, let's get a little uh, sound effect for death. I'm gonna add a little blip sound effect on the jumps. Actually, no, 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 no. We're gonna do something else. I'm gonna make it be the collect noise. And that'll be here. And then we'll do the same thing for the blip. We'll do blips on passing over the that'll be right here and I'll make the death noise Be right here. Let's save it. And now let's try running this thing with Jig. And we have, oh. Hmm. Some kind of bug. A boogie. What do you mean? It's right there. Oh, wait. Why can't I hear it? I do not see any bugs. Oh wait, I'm probably not saving to the right place. File, save as. Wait, you still can't change it? I think there's also text commands you can use as well. Let me take a look in a second. Oh, wait. I probably just didn't uh, call the stuff where I need to call them. One second, uh, Leo, I'll help you in just a moment. Just want to make sure I get something working more or less. Oh, 
Okay, so I'm guessing the audio stuff is here. Let's try running this again. Okay, it's a little bit annoying the sound effects I picked for this. Maybe I will reverse these things. Okay, but um, what are the commands for stream avatars? Let me figure it out for you real fast. Okay, so if you type in exclamation mark here, let me let me try showing you how this works. So if you type in shop like this, and then you can do buy avatars. So I'm um, try typing in buy avatars. So those are all your options you can get. So you can pick one of those things out and you consider avatar to it. So you can do like um, pigeon or trickster or spirit or Toroto or Steve or Wraith or Yoichi or Yi. So I think you do buy avatar and then you do that, whatever one you want. No, it's not. It's not real money. It's um. You can see how much money you're you have. Wait, let me see. If I can show you how to do that. So you do exclamation mark currency. And that tells you how much gold you have. I think I can give you currency too. Um, currency give here. I'll do currency give Leo the kitten. I'll give you guys like 1000. Uh, you now have 1000 something, so you should be fine. You can get whatever you want. Yeah, you have a thousand gold now. You can probably buy like all the skins, unironically. <laughs> Anyways, have fun with that. I, I need to get back to coding. <laughs> ah, I, I'm running out of time. I'm getting a little bit stressed, if I'm being completely honest. We got a lot of it done, but it isn't great. I think one thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change. Uh. Okay, so let's see if this works.
Can okay, actually, I'm gonna. I'm gonna remove. I'm gonna turn off my music that I was listening to, and now I'm going to let you guys actually be able to hear the game because I have added audio to it. So. So you have some basic, some basic audio work right now. Okay, one thing I also want to do is I want to... I, I think Steve is a Dead by Daylight character. I think we have like Dead by Daylight characters. We have some Ghibli stuff. We have a bunch of animals. We have like some like pop culture references, like the the goose from the the goose game and the uh, chrome dinosaur, as you can probably see by the Wrathful King. Um. I um, normally be able to actually see the options using the extension, but I'm not sure why you can't get to the extension. I'm kind of curious. Timer equals zero. is equal to timer over a hundred and timer is divisible by like 20 equals zero. Let's see if this works. Okay, well, I'll say the noise is a lot more annoying. Oh god, that's horrible. I will say the spacing is pretty good, actually. Maybe just like a little bit less. I like do this over a thousand. <laughs> this is intense. Why did that? Why am I trying to jump into like into those weird gaps? I don't have to do that. Probably can like over 1000 plus 0 0.01. Zero point zero five. Oh, I, 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 right now what I'm doing is I'm just um, messing with the numbers. I'm trying to get the the feel to be good. I could just like mess like right now. Well, let me show you the code in the background. So this is what I'm actually looking at right now. Which is basically, I'm just manipulating this, these variables here to try to figure out exactly what is the ideal frequency. Hello, Nicholas and uh, uh, Javier. 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 I'm gonna say I'm gonna say your Javier. Uh, Javier Gaming. I 
I think a lot of people tonight are probably just uh, lurking La Leo the Kitten. It's kind of a... Um, what day is today? Today's a Friday, right? Yeah. It's kind of an off day. Um, Let's make it so that I can... What uh, what what is not what he thought? Uh, Leo the kitten. Do I know Dano? I might. I'm not. The name doesn't sound. Oh, do you mean Danny? The do you mean the big YouTuber? Um, can I turn overflow off? Forget what the, the variable for that is actually. So the highest score, I mean, I, if I, if I try Dan.no, I do not know Dan.no. I don't think so. If I do, um, probably forgot her name. Well, let's try to get a, let's try, la, 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 la. let's try to get a high score and see what I can get. It doesn't really scale after some point though, so. Let's try to go for 20. Or seven, apparently. I can't get past those ports. I gotta change the noise for uh, getting past these parts. There we go, we're past 20. Thirty-six. Oh, we're nearly at a hundred. Dano Cal drawings. I I will say I'm very bad with names, so if I do know them, I probably just forgot. And I'm sorry. But yeah, so we we got to uh, 94. That that's my that's definitely my highest score with the current build of this game. Okay, we're going back to the code. We need to basically hide anything that's not on the screen. So I think overflow is the property I'm looking for. I'm not entirely sure. Epic Gamer. What's... Let's do clip. So square. Overflow is clip. Oh, that's exactly what I want. Look, so now it, it doesn't actually, um, look how clean that looks.
Wait, can you guys not hear me? Or, oh, no, no, here, you're asking Leo. Okay, I I'm turning off the noise for the passing the blocks because that is not the right noise for it. We'll, we'll find a better noise. How much time do we have, actually? Oh, also, you guys can see what I was talking about earlier. So, here's, um, with the overflow thing, now when the blocks go past the square, they they don't actually um, clip outside the square. Which is a nice little change. Okay. It's so weird too because um, there's a bit of a delay on the YouTube chat. So I ask something and about like 30 seconds later, I hear, I see the response. That's not a you guys thing. That's just a, how YouTube works. I'm just letting you guys know that if I say something and then I respond to you like a minute later, um, I respond to you as quickly as I can. Sometimes I also miss the chat, but. Thank you for the follow. Um, who is who followed me? Dark Legend 7. Oh wait, you are on YouTube and on this, wait. Sorry, I, I'm so, Streamlabs, I'm not happy with it right now. Wait, let me see if I can actually bring up the. No, you see you subscribed. Okay, Simon Roblox gameplay, which Among Us should I kill? Um. I can put a battle royale for you guys, and you guys can uh, duke it out. Or Twitch could be annoying, and I'll let me type through Streamlabs. Uh, battle royale, and uh, yeah, enjoy. You guys can fight. Um, I will continue coding. <laughs> Um, and right now we're currently at... Let's see, how much time do we have left? We have an hour and 16 minutes. We have a lot of the game pretty much done. I'm gonna remove the... Where's that noise? this noise because that was being obnoxious and now let's yeah it's more reasonable i still need to be a little bit more um satisfying i might also make so that the red dots count as score when they like get past the bottom of the screen that is probably gonna be better Thank you for the follow, Dark Knight GG3657. Welcome to the stream. Okay, so we probably also want to change the restart thing. So let's, uh, let me zoom out a little bit so I can see this a bit better. Press space to restart. Can I do another one? Yeah, I can. I'll turn on another one for you guys. Give me one second. Battle Royale. Courtesy of Simon Brock. Simon Roblox gameplay. Okay, let's continue. So what I need to do is we need to make it so that after I die, I can just press space to restart the game state. So because of how the input reader works, actually probably can just do, um, document dot get, well, if input is equal Input dot includes 
Well, you guys can see what I'm coding. Includes space. Then what we're going to do is we're first going to set timer back. We're going to reset all our variables. Timer equals zero. Score equals zero. We're going to go through all of the enemies and remove them all. We can just copy our code for that we used before for that. It isn't too big of a deal. We can just reuse this code and just copy that right here and use it to remove everything. So we can just go through all of this and instead of this being an if statement, we'll just literally use this code for that purpose. And then additionally, what else? We probably should update the score variable. Is there any other variable I'm missing? Score timer x, x val, no, it all looks okay. So I think with all of that, we can just run this and see what happens. Fatal bug. Oh. Yeah, um, let me, let me um, I, I'm only I can do the battle royale command. Sorry, I was looking at it from chat while I was typing that thing in. And uh, thank you for the follow, Simon Roblox. Wait, you just Simon Roblox gameplay. Thank you for the follow. And um, yeah, it, it is just AI. It's only luck that controls the battle battle royale. You can also move your character out of the battle royale and you can like attack people and so on. There are other things you can do. There's actually a kind of a game you guys can play if you'd like. I can, um, there's like a basketball game that you actually have control over. You can try it after this one while I'm coding. Wondering where this bug is happening. Um, oh, I forgot to print, uh, obviously. Obviously that's the bug. 162, so this line, wait, that line? This line, why this line? Oh boy, okay, where is this bug? Where's this bogey? Is it because I have too many of these? Yes, it is. And here, I'll play it again. Okay, and press space, and oh boy. Oh God, horror is beyond our comprehension. The Wrathful King has won the Battle Royale and he has 500 additional gold. Um, and now here, let me set it up for you guys so you guys can do the basketball game. I think it's basketball's command. Yeah, so you gotta type in join following by followed by red or blue to uh, select a team in uh, over on Twitch, and you guys can play basketball. And I'll, I'll explain how you guys can do it afterwards. Um. I guess I probably should just, um, it, it won't look pretty, but I'll just reset X and um, X Val at the beginning of this. So now when um when I die, 
It's a little bit laggy, actually. Oh boy, I broke something. That is excellent. Wait, I didn't break? Why is it? Okay. I guess I didn't update the text, so, but it still isn't working. Bizarre. X plus equals XVEL. No, it should work. Why why is it acting weird? Did I forget to change the game? I forgot to change the game state. Obviously. Okay. That explains everything. I, I might even be able to get away with the other thing I was doing before if I get rid of this. Yeah, I got a I made a mistake of forgetting to change the game state back to game. And now when I reload this, let's die real fast. Oh. So I think I, you got to type in two numbers. And if you type in two numbers, um, you'll get... So like for instance, um, I could type in like 20 and... Oh, 20 and 50 and I'll be 20 um 20 degrees from the left so it'll move to the left and 50 powers so be like a pretty strong throw does it make sense hello it's sneaky welcome to the stream how's it going Oh boy, okay, wait, actually it did work? No, it didn't work. I probably should remove this and reiterate this. But how's it going? Welcome to the stream. Sorry, I'm very, very distracted right now. I'm trying to get this game finished in time. Thank you, Nabindir Dylon. Dylan, for subscribing on YouTube. Much appreciated. Never required. That's good to hear. Um, it's sneaky. I don't know why this thing isn't working. Also, I don't know why my computer is feeling slower. It's bur My computer is burning right now. I don't understand. Okay, um... Are are you um? Does the does the thing make sense with the? So if you want to go to the right, you want to angle over ninety degrees. Like see the numbers on the star, those are the degrees. So if you want to go to the right, you probably want something like a hundred. Maybe that's something like, like twenty because you need like a small throw to get it inside that hoop. Here, I'll, 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 I'll join you guys for basketball in a little bit. I gotta first get this game a bit better. Also, um, anyone who, was, who wasn't able to join the basketball game, you'll be able to join the basketball game after. I, I, should, I should make it so you guys can play basketball or you guys can uh, start games by yourselves. This is why I want to make my own version of the stream avatars. It'll probably make more sense if um or like be a better experience if I created. Okay, but um to continue, I'm gonna remove this. Um there's a timer. A timer? Oh, so the the game jam I'm doing right now is supposed to be for only three hours. So they want me to submit my game in three hours. So that is kind of the... 
that is a deadline that I'm working with right now. I mean, I feel like by now, because I'm streaming, there is infallible evidence. They say that you, I can also work outside of the timer too, but it um, it wouldn't look good if I did that. Here, I'll start another basketball game for you guys. The basketball game just ended, and I'll show you guys how to do it right. Basketball. Oh, my, I can't do it. I, I hate how I can't do it. I got to like switch tabs every time I try to do these type of things. Uh, basketball. And I'll join the red team. Oh, I typed it wrong. Basketball. And I'll join red. So anyone else wants to join the basketball game, join really quickly before the timer runs out. Hello, Lucas, Eduardo. Oh, oh it's only on, on Twitch. I, I, I need to make it for YouTube as well. Sorry, no, no, ah, no, people on YouTube, I'm sorry. Oh God, you're, gonna, you're not gonna hear me until like a minute later because of the YouTube lag. Uh, it's, I, this is why I was working on making my own version of this. Because this always happens. Okay. Stream Avatars is a game I downloaded that is explicitly for Twitch. And I've used it for years. And I've been trying to make my own version of it that's also for YouTube. And, um... And yeah, so for right now, it's only for Twitch. Yeah, no, I, um, no, no, you guys don't have to, okay. if you guys want to play games while I play, while I make games, um, you can go to, go over to Twitch and I have a little basketball game you guys can join in. That's pretty fun. If you'd like, you don't have to, if you just want to watch the stream, YouTube has no ads, which is a benefit of YouTube. Um, again, it really just comes down to like, what do you guys want? If you guys want to play games while I make games, then Twitch is the place to be. If you guys would like to um, not have ads, go and be on YouTube. Or you can have both of them. That's also an option. Give me the the viewership numbers. Woo! Just kidding. I mean, I appreciate it, but you know, I'm not gonna never gonna hold it against you if you don't do that. Um, but yeah, so I'm actually working. I'll show you guys the other thing I'm working on after I finish submitting this game. Also, okay, so to explain this, the basketball game, let me like explain this real fast. So the star, um, you see this, the green star, that's where you shoot the bas where you shoot yourself from. It's a zero, 90 and 180. So the zero, 90 and 180 are the directions you're shooting from. So like that's, that's the first number you type in. So you see how the, the, the hoop, the green like line thing is like right here underneath my face. Um, that is to the left of the green star. So you want to kind of shoot at an angle there. So probably like 45 degrees. So it goes like towards the hoop. And you want to select a power level. So I'd do something like 45, 30. And that was short. So then I can adjust the power like, like 50, 40. And I can adjust the power level to like try to get inside the hoop. I think that was also, sh was that also short? Let me do it again, 50, 40. Oh, a little bit too long actually. So then I can do the lower 50, 35. Okay, I think you got it now. And then um, you're really close. I think if you do it a little bit. Let's try. You went a little bit. You got, I think I, I think you overshot in the first one. I got to do a little bit less, like 44, 38. Like 44, 39, or 38. That's kind of what you're looking for. I probably should continue coding. <laughs> as much as I like playing games with you guys. I can't wait till I have like games I can play with you guys on the stream. That'd be so much fun. I'll get there. I will make games for us. I swear. I just. 
the the Twitch and YouTube APIs are notorious. Like they're so bad for developing on. You scored. Good job. They're so annoying to develop on. Okay, so I'm still not able to to do this. Can I not update the game state right? Game is equal to game. You know, that's right. It's game state. Yeah, game state. Game state is equal to that. Yeah, correct, correct, correct. Um, hmm. It's going back here, most likely. Yeah, it's going back here. Why is this not working? Okay. Oh, wait, you guys can't see the code. Um, so right now I'm trying to figure out why it's getting stuck in this position. Wait, did I not did I not save the file? Okay, let's try dying again and see what happens. Oh, no, it works. We got it. Woo! So, um, okay, I'm gonna adjust the the curve. So, okay, right now what's happening is um. Here, I'll just die, and then I'll, I'll explain to you guys how I'm making this thing work. Yeah, I'll, I'll send our basketball game for you guys. So for anyone who's on Twitch right now, I'll put a basketball. Again, if you want to join in, you have like a minute to join in. Guy, type in the command, join, then red or blue. So like I'll do join red just for the sake of showing how it works. And you can do join blue instead as well. And you can play basketball. I think right now Simon Roblox is playing basketball. You can play against him. And I can see it's sneaky YouTube on uh, on the Twitch side. Oh, well, I, I I just put my name. I'm not I'm not actually gonna join in. Wait, it's sneaky. Did you did you um did you follow the you need to follow the thing the um, what's it called the Twitch in order to join the stream avatars thing. So I'm coding this in JavaScript right now. I'm doing everything in a singular HTML file. And yeah, also, hello, simple. Welcome to the stream. Let's see if it, thank you. Thank you for the follow. It's sneaky YouTube. Um, did it bring you in? I don't think, it, let, let me just reset the stream avatars. So you guys, you don't have to wait the entire time. I'll disconnect and reconnect really fast. Oh, you scored? Good job. Nice score. Sorry, I'm like, I'm kind of not overwhelmed. I'm getting kind of stressed because of this deadline. Here you go. Basketball. You're ready to go. Uh, join join your teams and uh, play some basketball. Go ball. Make a git and add me to it. Um, I, I can make a git for you guys. or I, I can put it on GitHub for you guys to mess around with it. It's not that bad. Let me let me finish with what I'm with this part of it real fast. And then I'll I'll add you in. I probably should add a thing where um, it doesn't doesn't let you reset the game state for like a full like second and a half. I did on my other game as well. It kind of just makes you so that um, you have to wait for a second before it um, before you continue. Yeah, no, uh, I I. I I really, um, part of the reason why I code and make stuff like this for people is because I, I want you guys to learn and I want you guys to be able to make cool stuff with my stuff and hopefully get gain something from what I make. This is not for myself. If it was for myself, I wouldn't be streaming it. Let's do 3000 and then let's... Hmm. 
Let's do uh, let, let's like try two thousand. Just joined a live. How's the game going? Um, it's going pretty well. We have um some sounds. You have some visuals. All like mechanics are working okay. I'm working on a difficulty curve a little bit right now. Uh, I'm also gonna add a little thing for the timer where um when you reset the game state, it doesn't act weird. I probably should make a tutorial for the beginning, so that's that's the next thing on the um, on the docket. Uh, okay, so game state game over. Here's where I gotta input this timer equals zero. We'll add a timer um, incrementer down in the game over, so we can keep track of how long I've been in the game over game state. And then we're going to make it so that you need to wait for the timer to be greater than like 100. Now let's try it out. Let's see if this looks better. I don't like how slow it starts up, though. I kind of want to improve that. OK, it looks a bit faster now. Yeah, okay, that's good. That's good. Okay, I think it's a little bit too long on the reset. I'm going to drop it to 50, so like just under a second. Also, you guys can't see what I'm doing. I'm literally just in the code. I'm just going here and I'm adjusting this function, this if here. This is the if that um that resets the game state. So when you press space again and that the timer is greater than a certain amount, it does all this, these things to um, reset all the variables and stuff. <laughs> but yeah, no, um, Spike, welcome to the stream. Is this is your first time watching my stream, Spike. I can't remember if I've seen your name before. I'm, I'm really bad with names. Um, okay, I think let's add a um, tutorial thing. You're new, you're new. Well, welcome to the stream. Nice to have you. Glad you could make it. I'm, I'm Rabondre. I'm not a great coder. If I'm being completely honest, but I'm a pretty fun coder. I'd like to think that I'm an I'm an entertaining coder. So don't come here if you want to learn have expert advice, but if you want someone who has fun coding, then I'm I'm your guy. Thank you for the follow, Spike. Or the subscription or whatever. I think it's subscription on. I keep forgetting because YouTube is subscription, Twitch is follow. And Twitch subscriptions are like money and YouTube memberships are money. It's like tiered, but they're like unevenly tiered. So the vocabulary isn't correct. Okay. Enough about that though. I think this is all looking good. I need. Hmm. Okay, so when we first start the game, let's let, let's add some basic text for starting the game. Simon Roblox has won. Congratulations, Simon Roblox, for winning your basketball game. I'll start you up on another one. I'm glad you're you're having fun. It's uh, it's sneaky. I, w I wasn't watching the bat. If I'm being completely honest, I wasn't watching the basketball game. Uh, I started another game, so um, you can do join red or blue if you want to play again. Okay, let's continue. Uh, okay, tutorial and also just a starting screen. So we're gonna go here and when we first start up, 
She probably can go here. I think wall jump is too long of a name. I know that's like a minor detail, doesn't really matter right now. Yeah, we're running out of time. We're like... We have 48 minutes left, so I, I gotta start. I'm gonna call it jumper. Jumper, score zero, square. And then initially we'll have But yeah, no. Yeah, Andrew, me will. We're nearly, we're nearly out of the woods with this one. It, um, you're saying bye because you need to leave, or? I'm gonna add a, add a tutorial variable we're going to use to keep track of how much information we've given them so far. So we'll do if if they start the game. So we're going to have a game state where it's just if game state is equal. So we're going to start them in the start game state where it doesn't really matter what happens. We're going to use this to essentially have the, the entrance screen for the for the game. Good job on scoring. Uh, Seven Roblox gameplay. And what we're going to do is so in the start state. We're going to just wait. And then if input, and honestly, we'll, we'll actually, um, for the sake of being consistent, we will just have inside of here, the, the document titles, and we'll do welcome, Press space to start if input is equal to or input dot includes. Space. Then we will do game state is equal to game. That's all we'll probably have to do here. And then here, what we're going to do is if if tutorial is equal to zero. Then we will write down press space to jump across the screen. And then Tutorial is equal to one. Avoid the red blocks. And then what we're going to do is just have it that whenever we um, jump across. We're going to increment. Why am I doing it there? That's not where it should be. Let's do it here. 
still not a great place, but it's better than what it was before. Oops. Oh, that's good. Okay, and now all we're gonna do is when we jump, we're gonna boost our tutorial level. And now let's run it and see what happens. Congratulations, Simon Roblox gameplay for winning. Let's run again. Also, um, I was talking to, I forget who, there was someone else, let me remember their name. Um, we were talking about the, um, the, at, the stream avatars. If you want to change your avatar, there's an extension in the chat. I think it's in the upper left-hand corner that you can click. It's the purple SA that you can use to, that stands for stream avatars. And you can use it to change your character. Well, that's not good. That is a bug. If input on includes. Where are you, bug? It's probably just a parenthesis. No, I don't see an obvious bug. I don't see an obvious bug in here. It's stuck on the welcome press start to start screen. It's not getting out of that screen. Oh, equal gain, not equals equals. Okay, I should fix it. Wait. Okay, it's jumping past the first tutorial message way too quickly. Honestly. I'm gonna like do timer is greater than a hundred and timer is greater than 200. And then we'll do if tutorial is greater than three and timer is greater than 300. We're gonna clear out these two. And just like that, we're all kind of set on that front. And I think what else we're going to do is we're going to change the, um, the skill curve on this thing just a little bit. I know I've been talking, I'll, I'll explain what this means in a moment. Is greater than 200. Honestly, no, 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 no. Wait, 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 wait. This is better. We'll do. Here and time record in 200 and score is greater than one. In that way, it's actually based on them learning the behaviors I'm teaching them. That's good. And how we'll do this is um, we're going to change the curve to essentially have a kind of a grace period like a five second grace period, I think. And we'll boost the initial probability and increase that. Okay. So let's try running this to see what happens. So I'm also gonna, let me quickly explain what I mean by the um, dif uh, changing the difficulty or working on a difficulty curve. Um, unlike other games where it's a bit more of a weird thing, in this game, uh, difficulty, I'm just talking about how often blocks are appearing on the screen. 
And the way how I'm trying to essentially work on that is, wait, let me make sure you guys, can you guys? Yeah, that's fine. So the way how I'm doing this is, um, what is the likelihood blocks are gonna be uh, spawned in a certain point? And we can, we can graph that. And let's say this is the time. What I'm doing is for the first five seconds, the probability from zero to one is zero. So I can for five seconds. And then we're going to start them off at a certain probability. So it's not like they don't say any blocks for like a full forever. So we're going to start at like a minimal, minimal probability. And then we're going to boost that probability all the way to one, at which point it's going to stay there and just like spam blocks on them. So that's how we're essentially going to control the probability. Oh, also, um, uh, it, it's sneaky YouTube. Uh, I, I was meaning more like, can you guys still see the stream avatars playing? Um, because I, I, I was messing around with that earlier. So this is essentially the probability diagram. And this is what I've been kind of messing around with. Like I've been like, you know, making this thing more or less steep. The more steep it is, the quicker you see a lot of blocks. And the, sl the smaller it is, the slower you see like a lot of blocks. And I'm also adjusting this initial variable, like the initial point I jump you at, because if it's too low, you'll see too few blocks and it's boring. If it's too high, I overwhelm the first player who's just getting started and not really used to it. And then this period right here, the first like five seconds is like a grace period where the tutorial happens. And I can probably do it so that after the first time I play it, this is actually no longer there and I'll bring this back to the front. That's what I'm going to do right now, actually. That's actually a um, good thing I was talking about this because me talking about it means I can actually implement that immediately. So what I can do is I can just do if where is my my little code it's right here and we'll do instead of just timer we're going to 300 we'll also add an or statement or um, tutorial is greater tutorial is not equal to zero. And that'll turn it into an and or like that. That'll basically mean if the tutorial is equal to zero, it's always be true. And yeah, um, let's try running it. And I'll, I'll answer your question in a second. Summer blocks gameplay. I want to make sure this game works. Okay, I think I forgot parentheses. Let me make sure. No, it's not forgotten. There is a bug though. There's a bogey. A comma in one eighty nine. 189. That's not good. Okay, it can be anywhere. The bug could be anywhere. It could be me. It could be you. Okay, so the only code I really modified, let me zoom this out just a little bit. The only code I really modified was this initial start code, which I don't think is the problem. And I'm, I messed around a lot with the difficulty curve. I'm guessing that's where the problem is. Press space, zero, zero. Oh, no, no, here it is. I forgot the um, end bracket here. Okay, and now let's try running it. There we go, it works. Oops, okay. <laughs> okay, so the problem is it's not going to the next tutorial thing, Bob. Okay, why is that? And timer greater than 200. I think the issue is... Okay, actually, I know what the issue is. We're going to want to do greater than or equal to for this, greater than.
And now it should work. I forgot to save it. Let's try again. Nope. Oh, well, okay, it worked, but it stopped, started way after the block started falling, which is not what we want. Um, let me go back to the difficulty curve. And let's adjust it slightly. Mm -hmm. Okay, here it is. Timer is greater. Well, the issue is that it we're getting past the first thing when we're not past the first thing. And I think the issue is I'm not like... Maybe what I should do is I should actually hard, hard, um, this is a weird logical thing that I'm going to regret later, but also we're running out of time, so I don't really have time to not, not do this right now. But we're going to just um, make it so that each if hard um, locks it in a certain spot. I'll do this. And then what happens is we can we can say essentially that we'll only start this up if tutorial is greater than one or timer actually is greater than four. That's not going to work. Ah, oh, it's so frustrating. This is actually incredibly frustrating because this actually will not work because this will work the first time, but if you play it again, it'll then refuse to work. Okay, let, let me quickly explain how you can change your avatar before I continue because I think it's going to be like another 20 minutes and then I got to submit the game. Um, to change your avatar, um, in, your, in the chat, in the upper left-hand corner, upper left, I think it's right here, um, you're going to see these little squares. Those are the extensions. If you click on it, it'll open up the shop, and you can buy whatever skin. If you need more gold, let me know, and I can send you. It, it's like fake currency. I can give you some more gold. You just want to call a basketball game, so it should be in the find there. If that doesn't work for you, or if you can't get that to work, there's commands that you can use to do it as well. Um, you can find the avatars, the list of avatars, by typing in... Um, so it should be in the chat in the upper left hand corner or the upper right hand corner. One of like it's in it's in the chat, top left, top right. If you don't see it there, then the commands are I I just have it open. Yeah. So what you can do is if you type in exclamation mark buy avatars, it'll give you the list of avatar skins you can buy. And then you do buy avatar blockman or whatever type of skin you want. Don't forget the exclamation mark though. Okay, and while you're doing that, let me continue. Oh, we need a space to buy avatars. Okay, how am I going to do this? Uh, There's a very, very bad way I could do this and a very, very interesting way I could do this. And I don't have time for either. I might just have to kind of, I don't want to give, I have like half an hour. I should be able to get this done. 
We gotta do buy avatar. So buy avatar something. So like buy avatar name. That's the command you want to do. And I think it should automatically set it, but there might be a command to set it if it doesn't work. Money channel points. So um, stream avatars has a separate currency that's you can find by typing in currency. Um, and channel points is separate. Um, that's another reason why I don't like stream avatars, but that's I think I can list a lot of things I don't like about stream avatars. Similarly to how I can list a lot of things I don't like about Twitch. Uh, it's just they're very, very like, in my opinion, inadequate solutions. But, you know, it is what it is. Is it not working? It should work. Is Wraith an option? Yeah, Wraith is an option. Um, Um, okay, I'll, I'll get back to in a second. Let me finish this. I don't know. I'll figure it out. Give me a moment. I'll, I, I'll let me first finish this game and then, um, let me, let me post this game and then we'll, we'll get back to it. Um dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum ba dum Okay, so I'm actually gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all of this into the jumping thing. because that'll keep the logic simple. This is the easy solution. It's kind of the ugliest one because it kind of mucks up the code for someone who doesn't know what's going on here. But as of right now, this is the easiest solution. Okay, now that should work. Honestly, okay, that I don't like how it updated the position to square afterwards because it looks like I missed even though I didn't. Okay, that, that's great. Thanks, thanks, Piplup, for uh, putting the commands up there. That that's really useful. I forgot I had a feature actually. Uh, let's see what can I do here. So I need to probably should update the position of the character. Honestly, I think I need to do this at the very beginning to kind of keep it consistent. I think I'm going to lower the amount of time it takes to get to that point by a little bit. 
So we're going to um, change it from the difficulty from the blocks starting at one greater than zero and timer be 200 nah 150 actually I lied three no one and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the um, we'll update this thing here at a hundred. So 150 and a hundred. I think that's a good, a little bit faster so it won't feel as sluggy in the beginning. And I think with that, um, I mean, I'm not super proud of this game. This game is very, very simplistic. But for three hours, I think I did pretty fine. Um, we can definitely do better next time. I think the trick is I'm going to have to like build my own like library of cool code snippets I can quickly dump into my code. So I don't have to like build this from scratch every time. But, you know, all things considered, pretty happy with it. Let's post this game really fast. Oh, you guys can see what I was doing. Okay, wait, let me play it again. So let me start from the beginning so you can see the tutorial screen. So tutorial, welcome, press space to start. Press space to jump across the screen and avoid the red blocks. And after you avoid it, that message goes away. And you get the game over screen, press space and restart. And that's the gameplay loop. And you'll notice at the beginning, it's like only a couple blocks go down. Oh, whoops. Yeah, so that's basically it. Uh, and again, not my finest work. I might actually, uh, well, I'll do one final thing. I'm going to increase the distance between the clumps of blocks by like five. I'll go back to 20 just because it feels like a little bit too snug right now. So go to 20. I think with that, we're going to call it the end of the game. Now let's, um, what we got to do to submit it is you got to save it, compress it to a zip file. Go to my itch.io. Submit the project, wait. How long did it take me to make this thing? It took me an hour, two hours and 40 minutes, 41 minutes. We're gonna call it wall jumper. And I'm gonna just do HTML zero dollars. You can donate if you like. I do not oh god, no. Okay. 
Give me one second. You can donate if you like, but <laughs> I don't think anyone would or should donate for a game like this. Upload files. Wall jump. File can play in browser. Uh, embed in page. Manually set size. I'll do Yeah. Game I coded in two hours and forty one forty one minutes for a game jam. Genre Well, I don't even know what kind of game is this it's kind of a platformer maybe I don't even know do not even know Is that an actual command piplup? Did not know that was an actual command, and my I think blocked it. Okay, I'm gonna just say no genre. And I'll let comments. Save and view page. Oh, I gotta change the name. Okay. And that is why we always checked before I do stuff. In Dex. And then we press a zip. And then we upload files. Oh. Delete file. Play it in browser and save view page. I'll change. Well, I probably should change the background color. Nah, it's fine. I'm not even gonna think. Worry about it. I take it back. Actually, I should change the background color. Um, and a notepad. It should background color be white. Why is it? Guess I'll do it manually. Style equals background color white. Let's try running this again. I'll toss these away real fast. Now let's Do this again. Second time is a charm. Oh, third time is a charm. Uh, save view page. Yeah, there we go. Full screen looks good. And draft public save. And now you guys should be able to play my game. So 
the game is online here. I'll put it on YouTube as well so you guys can see it. And now you guys There we go. So you guys should be able to play the game if you'd like to. And I heard some people were saying that they wanted me to uh, post a code for the game. So let me make a GitHub for it real fast. And you guys can mess around with the code as, as you see fit and maybe make your own thing if you'd like. So let's go over to GitHub github.com make a new repo basic wall jumper add uh don't need to do that MIT license actually why don't you do like the common zero yeah that's better Create repo, and we're just gonna drag and drop these beautiful pieces of code. Initial upload, commit changes. I just did that. What are you talking about? There we go. Initial upload. Add a readme. Run the index.html with the audio files the same directory to play the game. Commit changes. And now we're all done. And I'm going to just give you guys the link to this thing, thingamabobber. And I'll post, I'll probably put a link, a cross link, both these things. So if you guys are interested in running or looking at the code, it's over on the YouTube. I'll put it in there. And it is over in the um, Twitch as well. And I will cross link both of these things. So, oh, published code can be found at. Probably cross link my stream with both resources as well later. Save. Uh, view page. And I'll cross link it on the GitHub. You can play the game at Cross linked the itch.io page. Commit changes. Let me make sure it got submitted properly. I thought I submitted. To uh, I guess I'll, I'll add in like how, what's the timer say right now? I'll add in a little bit of time because I did have to fix that one bug. I guess bug solving. Oh, I deleted the timer. Okay, it was like five minutes. I'll I'll add like four. How long have I been streaming for? Can I look at how long I've been streaming for? Where can I see? Can someone tell me how? Wait. Yeah, I've been streaming for less than three hours, and I started developing after I started streaming, so I think we're fine. I'll just say I'll just say two hours and fifty minutes. I think that's the most reasonable number I can give. 
minutes. Submit. The stream has been going for two hours fifty-five. Yeah, no, I had a t I set a timer like ten minutes into the stream for the game jam, and I I thought I was done, so I closed out of it. But apparently, they wanted me to um, do to first upload the project, then submit the project. So, but hey, we completed our game jam. Second game jam I actually finished. If you ignore the two that I started and completely just disregarded and we lost track of. So we are, we're on a roll. Three hours. Cannot complain. Does anybody have any questions? About, um, I, I honestly, by the way, so I honestly don't think the, the, the guys there care unless it's like actually over three hours. So we did less than three hours for sure. So that, that's all that matters and I'm happy. But does anybody have it? Okay, let me bring up the code while we're talking about this. But does anybody have any questions about this code? About what I did, about software? Anybody want to see me play the game? Anybody want to play the game and tell me what you think about it? Anybody want to? Um, but when I play the game, I can't see myself or the obstacles. Um, what browser are you playing on? I, I need more information. Um, you just came here. What coding software do you use? I use JavaScript. I built everything in HTML. Um, let me let me let me try running the game myself and see what happens. Maybe I have some some uh, some big bugs in this thing. So let me bring up the itch.io page. Man, I thought I thought we were done. I thought we were out. Okay, let's bring up the, I'll run it in my Microsoft Edge. You're doing an Opera GX. Okay, I don't have Opera GX. So I'm, I'll run it on Microsoft Edge. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Let's see. Oh, I can't see it either. Well, okay. Well, that's a problem. Can I inspect this? Uh, why are you acting up? Okay. Okay, so we have 10 minutes. I'm gonna set time for 10 minutes. Timer. 10 minutes to fix whatever this bug is. God, I hate my life. Oh no, I'm glad you brought it up because I, I would not have checked unless you guys told me. So no, I'm, I'm happy you did this. Okay, 10 minutes to fix this bug. So we know it's an Opera GX. Opera GX have a bug where it, or, uh, ah, I can't even talk. Okay, so it, I'm seeing the bug across platforms. So let me try it. Okay, so it's definitely... <sighs> okay, let's, let's work on this. Um... Background color red. Eat out style. The the thing on the front is accurate. So it must be a So I'm looking at this right now. 
So here's where we're changing the color of the elements. And it all looks correct. I mean, it, it runs um, when I don't do it across. I wonder if it's complaining because of the name that I use for the div. I'll call, I'll return the name seg and see if seg fixes it. Um, match case. Usually on stuff like this, that's like a big thing that can happen, which is um, names um, across browsers. They don't, they add conflicts. Especially when I'm doing stuff like, like direct modifications of HTML. It's not uncommon. It definitely is something where I gotta actually like test stuff out. Is why three hours is usually a difficult thing to do. Okay, it's okay. Okay, let's go back in here. Let's fix this. Let's fix this. Okay, let's. Upload file. Let's try this again. File play in browser. Save, view page, we'll run this. Nope. Why? I don't understand. I, I don't understand. Let me full screen this and can I inspect element? Um, unchecked run time last error. None of these things are useful. Boy, um, why is this? Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh God. What could possibly, so the issue isn't with the naming convention. Cause there's no way that seg is taken. <sighs> what did I do for snakes? Did I do something different? No, same ex I'm doing literally the same exact thing. Did it change on the other one? Wait, did I never update? No, I, I made this game. I guess I never posted. Okay, so this one, the zombie shooter I did post. Inspect this one. No, I use the same exact convention. Okay, so the two bugs that you guys reported were 
We'll call us a Howarding on time. Oh boy. I wonder if the people running this thing are going to be upset because of this, but <sighs> let's see if I can get, I can, let me see if I can figure this out quickly. So we know that the issue with whatever this is, is one issue with the color, one issue with, I'm guessing, well, I'm going to pause the timer, give me one second, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back everybody. I have two theories. I have two theories while I had to run off for a second. My first theory, theory number one, is um, I did one thing different in this project, which is I put the script below the body. This shouldn't change anything, but I have not, don't really have many better ideas. I'm just gonna move this into the head like I, like I used to do. Wait, why are two of these? Oh, wait, 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 this could be a problem. Why are there two of these? Whoa, 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 whoa. That, that could be a problem. That might be it, actually. Okay, but just to be clear, let's also do this. Let's make sure there's no other bugs that could be plaguing us. Um, let's run this again. Oh God. Okay. Um, inspect. Where is it? Where are you? Pen child, 8334. 83, 84. What do you mean? He's right, I just made him. He's right here. No way, because no, the issue is a square. Get on by D. Doesn't, oh, I have to do the, um, ah, okay. There, there's another thing I do. Oh, am I explain? Okay, the plot thickens. Okay, the other issue is probably, what I used to do is add a window dot on load. as to wrap everything. Okay. 
Okay, let's run this again. Inspect. I typed it in wrong. Window, is it capital? What is the, is it cap, wait. I gotta get, how'd I do it on the previous project? Let's look at shooter. Properties, not properties, what am I doing? Window.onload equals, okay. Okay, now let's try running it and see what happens. Okay. I changed a bunch of things. I did like, I did it under three minutes. I didn't start a timer again, but I did that really quickly. Okay, let's let's do this again real fast. Press a zip. Is everybody who's had it having bugs still here so I can get you guys to quickly play test this thing about? Sorry for having for dragging you into this, but I, I do appreciate you guys help me fix this problem. I'm also going to be testing it as well. View page. Okay, it's working for me now. I'll update, I'll update the, the, the... Oh, wait. No, okay, it's working. I did by wrapping it in the function and the onload function, theoretically speaking, it, I'm also, let me, let me test it on um, Microsoft Edge as well. It's working? Yay! Okay, I'll, I'll explain what I did. Um, okay, but I, I'm, if it's working, at least on somebody else's computer, I can be happy about it. Let me update the, the GitHub. Um, go in here, edit this file. I'll just grab all this code and dump it in here. Fixed visual glitch in itch.io. Um, deployment. Let's 
So what I did to fix it was, um, well, the first thing I tried, I don't, I'm not sure if this had any uh, impact, but I did it, is I changed the name from a common, potentially conflicting name to of one of the divs to a much more standard one. I didn't fix it when I did this. I don't think it had any impact. The next changes I did were I, I, I moved the script. So instead of loading after the, the page was loaded or like all the H, the DOM was loaded, it would start to loading initially. And I also, when it, when it started loading initially and like, and started like the, the, that process, I had, I wrapped the entire game into a function. So it was no longer global scope, but it was within a singular function. So it was a level below. And it also would only start to function on load. So as soon as the DOM was properly set up, it would run the actual code. Um, if that none of that made any sense, I can explain it further. But that is uh, that is it. And um, and yeah. We finished the game and the game is uh, published and everything is awesome. And I'm tired, <laughs> man. Like I, I thought, I thought we were doing so well on time. I thought like literally the last like half an hour, I was like, I was chilling. I wasn't stressed at all. And then these last like 10 minutes, I'd be like, Oh God, what just happened? Man, I mean, I guess that's how all code projects really go down. I, I haven't really experienced anything that's much different than this. I still thought that maybe this time was going to be different, but you know, it is what it is. You know, it's, it's the way of the coder lifestyle. But nonetheless, fun times, great projects. I enjoyed this. I really, I really enjoyed doing game jams and I think I'm going to do some more. I think with this one, some of the stuff I did, I'm going to take to my next projects. Like the, um, the clipping, the, um, the window clipping thing that that's going to be great for other projects. I think I can actually apply that to like a bunch of my other projects already. Um, I don't know. I, I think I need to call it a night because I am kind of getting a little itty bit loopy right now. Does anybody have any questions or anybody want to talk about the code or anybody want to see me play the game some more or anybody want to, um, me to talk about something else. Cause I mean, like I was, I was pretty like focused on the code for the last two hours. It wasn't really, this wasn't really a chill chatting stream. It was more of a Andre fever, feverishly trying to code a game very quickly stream. I'm going to finish this bottle. You got a 143 score. Nice. I have a sneaking suspicion that I might actually have miss. Did I? Wait, I'm going to look back at the three hour game jam thing. Was there a theme I had to follow? Okay, 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 okay. Whew. I, I I thought for a second that there was like a deeper theme I had to follow, but no, it's just wall bounce. I think I think I got wall bounce down pat. But yeah, no, thank you, Spike, for thank thanks for enjoying the project. Thanks for sticking around and watching me do this. Much appreciated. I I don't think I'm going to win this game, Jim. I don't even think I'm going to get close. Honestly, I think I don't think this is going to this is not going to be it. I think eventually, eventually my goal would be to top 5 every game jam, top 3 every game jam. I want to beat every game jam. But um as of right now, for for what it was and for 
I I very very literally started from with nothing. Um quite frankly, even a game engine would have made my life easier, but I didn't even have that. Back in my day, we did not code with game engines. We coded in pure browser or in pure JavaScript in a browser. But no, that was um I think what I'm going to have to do down the line is either make my own library or like my own game engine or just have like, I think I mentioned this earlier, but just snippets of code. So I don't have to like write like how many lines of code did I write for this? For this project, I wrote honestly 190 lines, not horrible, but still, I think at least a hundred of those lines I should have had pre-written. Because I feel like a hundred lines of stuff that I still ha had to like properly debug and everything were stuff that I, I code exactly the same from project to project. Like it's like my, my game engine, the, the, the engine of my project. And I need, I need to, okay. One thing I definitely have to do between projects that I haven't done is I got to have like CSS and like of art assets pre-made. I think we're going to have a stream soon. We already had one stream. We're going to have more streams soon where I'm just going to like put a lot more focus on creating game assets, game items, game elements, and that I can use my projects. I think that's going to be like a bigger priority moving forward. Anyways, I feel like I'm I should have started the stream a lot sooner. I, I I did say today was gonna be a longer stream and I just didn't get to it and I apologize. I'm also still recovering though from uh, from this thing. I also, also, I think um, coding with one missing finger due to my injury, I think I, think I get like Cause this did slow me down. Like, I'm not going to lie. Like not having this pinky, it slowed me down quite a bit. I'm making a lot of excuses right now, but I finished the project. I can't say it. I mean, I, I have nothing to complain about. I did. I did my part. I did my part. I'm happy with what I did. I'm genuinely happy. Why am I complaining? What, what am I even complaining about? I don't know. Maybe it's embarrassment. Maybe. I had creating a subpar project. Something along those lines. Anywho, I'm just tired and I'm through my like second bottle of alcohol. So this was technically a drinking stream. I'm not sure if anybody else caught that. <laughs> It doesn't even help with the pain, honestly. <laughs> Anywho, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll try to stream earlier. For sure. I'll even put an announcement in Discord today. We'll start at like six or something. But thanks again for everyone for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. I hope you guys learned something from this. The code is on the GitHub. The code is, um, you probably can get the code directly from DHIO. The game can be played right now. Um, apparently Spike got a high score of, a high score of 143. To try to beat, beat Spike's score. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll end this stream by trying to play my game one last time. It says, I submitted my project. What, what's it talking about? I, I did my part. Yeah, I did this. Okay. Should I resubmit this thing? Okay, let's like beat my high score. Okay, let me make it full screen. Where's that full screen button? 
Did I forget to add a full screen button in? Wait, one. Eh, whatever. I don't need a full screen. I feel like it would have been better if it was like a little bit lower on this in the square. Ah, 19. Okay. Two. Okay. Gotta be 143. Oh, that was close. That was so close. Okay. Oh God. <gasps> no! <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> oh, yay, yay. 91. I think one thing in retrospect that I would have liked to do differently on this project is um, instead of it, it's very, very randomized right now. I mean, I made it orderly by adding a um, adding incremental spaces, but um, making it more like um, meaningful or like making the, the clusters make more sense from a difficulty standpoint. I think it would have made the game more compelling. Or maybe adding another mechanic. So it's not just like, um, maybe, maybe like you gotta like hold space for a certain like wall or something. That could be kind of cool. Feature wise. That was so close. Okay. I think we're getting close to this. Okay, high score time. Woo! I think now it's just, um, like, ah, 175. Woo! You got 274, no! <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, 274. I gotta be 274 now. Okay. Ah. 
I think I, w I just like I wish I added more depth to the game would have been nice or like either more depth or more breadth. I think either way would have been good. Just add more content. It is a three hour game jam, so I guess. Uh, I. Maybe an hour more I could have added another feature in. Let me know when I can join the Walls Jumper esports team. Of course, of course. I'd love to make a competitive game. I have ideas too. I think right now the main I, one of the things I have to learn. This is actually like on my docket of stuff that I'll be streaming soon. Is I want to learn how to properly have a server based game. Because I I think one of the things that kind of scares me is I, I see all the time uh, people talking about like games that are made but don't have very secure multiplayer. I, I don't want to be the reason why someone's IP gets leaked or something. So. Especially if I make a game that gets big. I, I want a game to ha be scalable and be safe for my players. So I want to learn to do it right. I still want to do it myself, but I need to figure out exactly how to do it myself and good. It'll happen soon, though. Oh, ah, yeah, yeah. I think one thing I really should have done that I didn't get a chance to do is add for a game like this, adding mobile support would have been like five lines. That's one thing I really should have done before I submitted this thing. That would have been like I needed like five, ten minutes. If I didn't have the bug and I was felt motivated, I would have um totally done that. Anywho, I'm not, I'm not beating too. I, I that 150 run, whatever that was, that was luck apparently because I'm not doing that again. But yeah, no, that was a fun game jam. I'm pretty happy. Again, stuff I could have done differently. Stuff I can do for future game jams. Apparently, this game jam is a weekly game jam. So maybe we'll do this next week too. Maybe I'll do a game jam every single day. That would be awesome. But as of right now, I'm getting tired. I feel like my energy is kind of starting to meow. So I'm going to call it and tomorrow we'll start this train again. So thanks again for everyone for watching. I hope you guys all enjoyed. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.